Hi everyone. How are you today? I hope you are always healthy. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to discuss about outer space. I got this on various sources. Please check the description to know more. There are many interesting topics there, and not all of them can be covered here. I know that my video quality is far from good, but I hope the content is understandable. Some might say that I'm being repetitive by discussing this. But that's the whole point. This is proof that a small occult elite has always made a story to fit their narrative. Anyway, I also have a Telegram channel. There, I will share various information that I cannot share here. Don't forget to subscribe to my backup YouTube channel, the link is also in the description box below. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. If you think that nothing is happening, then you have not been paying attention. I believe that global events will continue to accelerate during the months ahead, but meanwhile, most of the general population is still assuming that things will eventually return to normal somehow. Anyway, reported by DailyMail.co.uk, on Monday, NASA rammed a spacecraft into an asteroid for the first time in history, in order to see if it could alter the trajectory of the giant space rock. NASA's DART mission slammed into Dimorphos, a smaller space rock circling a larger asteroid called Didymos, to see if it could throw off the orbit of a potential future asteroid that was threatening life on Earth. Scientists will be watching the Didymos system closely to see how much Dimorphos' orbit actually changed, those results won't come for at least another two months. Confirmation of NASA's successful planetary defense test came seconds after the 7.14 Eastern Time 14,000 miles per hour collision, sparking applause among the ground team at the Johns Hopkins University Applied Physics Laboratory in Maryland. Impact success. NASA tweeted after the DART spacecraft collided with the 560-foot asteroid, around 6.7 million miles away from Earth. Is NASA conducting such a for a specific reason? If so, they would never actually admit it. Personally, I have a feeling that this is a very important story that is far from over. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you'd learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. The one thing man fears, is the unknown. Individual rights will be willingly relinquished for the guarantee of their well-being, granted to them by a world government, and order. Henry Kissinger. I don't watch the mainstream news. I prefer to maintain my sanity. But in truth, there's really no escape. If you're at all connected into the Matrix, the news will find you. So, I couldn't help but notice the slew of UFO sightings, leaks, and admissions coming across the airwaves in the last couple of years. This trend has definitely ramped up in just the past few months with some amazing footage released by the military, who claim to not know what they are or where they come from. Now if you've been watching and paying attention as long as I have on this subject, it's hard to get excited about these revelations. Sure, it feels slightly good to be vindicated on some level of I told you so, to all of those people who called you crazy for speaking on this. Because it's hard to truly deny something once the mainstream media and military have had to admit to it. On the other hand, however, drawing from my experience with government secrecy and my intuition, it is glaringly obvious that there is another agenda at play here. If in recent history, and where we are in the state of the world right now, I am concerned about what this agenda may be, and where we could be going from here. Dr. Stephen Greer, noted scientist and doctor, and one who has been on the inside circles of these matters for decades, has an interesting theory on what's coming, and is one I think we really need to consider. He puts forth a theory, backed by some convincing evidence, that they will stage a fake alien invasion. This might sound like a really wild idea. And perhaps it is, which is why it's likely to work. 
Had you said this back in 2019, I would have raised my eyebrows incredulously. But now, after witnessing what has happened in the world these past two years, I'm actually now concerned that they could really pull this off. According to Dr. Greer, this false flag alien takeover has been 75 years in the making. False flag UFO sightings began in the 1950s and have continued to this day. The technology that they have is many years beyond what we see in the public. They have developed aircrafts and systems that would seem alien to most people, perhaps Tesla's technology. Thus, they have the ability to stage false flag sightings with incredible technology that would absolutely seem extraterrestrial. If in these premises, it becomes clearer as to the overall who, what, and why of this project. As quoted by Henry Kissinger, a perceived threat as ominous and gigantic as an invasion by beings from other worlds would create such fear and panic that the world's population would give these groups every last bit of our freedom in exchange for the illusion of safety and security. You only have to go back to 1938 and revisit what happened when Orson Welles broadcast War of the World's Life on radio and the panic that ensued. Now in 2022, given the technology available and the incredible power of big tech to control information, one can truly imagine the scale, scope and possibility of such an undertaking. According to Dr. Greer, Project Bluebeam is the name of this secret project run by NASA along with other groups around the world. So, if you are interested in what's already out there, dig into that and some other names like the Stargate Project. If this actually does go down, we want to have as many people aware of the history of this as possible. If enough people are awake, then it will be much more difficult for these mastermind controllers to have their way. The race is on, and time is ticking. Now, more than ever, it's so important to have control of your own thoughts, feelings, perceptions, and to have trusted sources of information. What do you think about this video? Please like and share this video if you like it, so that more people are aware of what is happening in this world. Before I end this video, let's say thank you to everyone who took the time and energy to research this, they have done a lot for us all. Please subscribe to watch the next upcoming videos. Thank you for watching the video until the end, I hope this information is useful for all of us. See you in the next video.